crazy creatures. We're still at Silent Hill Reptiles, and now we're doing the Lizards episode. My name is Mindy, and uh, what we have here today are some leopard geckos. They uh, were actually my starter reptile. Um, Colin here is holding a little girl named Rhubarb that I got in pretty poor condition from a reptile expo. And then this girl I'm holding here is Pepper, and uh, she actually is special needs. She needs help eating. Um, she's unable to feed herself. Um, but normally these guys make great pets for children and families, and they're a lot of fun to watch. So you have leopard geckos, but you breed gargoyle geckos. Yes, I do. Uh, just started breeding gargoyle geckos last year sometime, and uh, I have a few available if you want to go check them out. Okay. I have a crested gecko named Mushu, and crested geckos are from an island called New Caledonia. And other geckos from New Caledonia are Michianes geckos, chameleon geckos, and gargoyle geckos. This little guy right here is named Bacon Bit. Um, he was one of <laughs> the first geckos I got as part of uh, my breeding program. Um, I'm aiming to get a lot more orange into my gargoyle geckos, as you can see, as orange. <laughs> this is Bacon Bit. As you can see, he has some orange blotches on him, and with my breeding program, I'm working to get a lot more orange into the geckos. Um, gargoyle geckos in red are really popular. Yellow is becoming more popular, but I'm just really a fan of the oranges. This gecko here is named Gojira, and as you can see, she has some orange coloring to her. She's fired down right now, which means she's going to be the lightest that she gets, and then when they get excited or hungry or the weather changes, they will fire up, which she'll become a much darker color. Um, this is the orange I'm trying to work into my breeding program. Um, these geckos are fascinating little creatures. Their care is very similar to crested geckos. They eat the same thing, and they also prefer vertical space as to floor space. This gecko right here is named Penny. Um, she is the mama to most of the baby geckos we have had so far. As you can see, she's got a really nice dark orange stripe to her. Um, I keep talking about the gecko's colors, and that's because gargoyle geckos don't necessarily have many fancy morphs. They're more named for their patterns and colors, which is kind of why I got into breeding them because honestly it's a lot less to keep track of. But isn't she just gorgeous? So all of the baby gargoyles that have been born here at Silent Hill so far have been named after days of the week. This shy little guy here is named Saturday. As you can see, he's got some beautiful orange stripes like his mom, and his background color is a beautiful, rich, dark brown. So gargoyle geckos are laid in clutches of two eggs, so Saturday and Sunday hatched out together. And this particular clutch, um, we incubated them at a little bit higher temperature than necessary, so they hatched quicker than usual, which resulted in a smaller than usual size. These guys will, however, be available for sale soon. And you can always check them out on our Facebook page, Silent Hill Reptiles. Um, this little girl here is named Wednesday. She is a holdback from last year. She's the only gecko we kept back from last year's babies. Um, Penny is her mom. And she, when she's fired up, she turns a really dark, um, black with white and then you might be able to see now she has faint orange stripes but when she's fired up she's orange black and white which is really what I'm aiming for so we decided she we're gonna keep a hold of her and add her into our breeding program in the future so Colin's got two of our gargoyle gecko eggs here that are currently being incubated um, so when they're born you want to mark them on the top so that they stay facing up the whole time and they're placed in a substrate and just monitored for at least 60 days up to 120 days for gargoyle geckos 
These eggs are getting ready to hatch soon. You can kind of see if you zoom in. One has started denting here a little bit, and that is a sign that they are going to hatch soon. Even though we did our snake episode, we did not include ball pythons. We have a small collection here of pet-only ball pythons in a couple different morphs, and we just keep these um, simply as pets, and we don't have any plans to breed our ball pythons, but um, I think we have a pretty good mix of colors here and morphs. I know that Letty here is a pewter ball python. Colin is holding a fire pastel spider. He has green eyes. His name is Dublin, and if we can get him to show you, beautiful green eyes is what drew us to Dublin. And this guy is named Finn. He is a GHI Mojave. And then this is Bodie. He's a Pied. And so all these guys are still on the smaller side, um, around two years old or less. Thanks for showing me all these animals. Thanks for stopping by. We had fun today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures.